Hello, all my Harvest LA brothers and sisters. Uh, I hope all of you are doing well. I know it's not um, the easiest of times, and I just pray that all of us together we can experience God's presence more than we ever can, and that we can feel um, the sense of closeness, even though we're physically apart. So today's sharing is for Friday, July 10th, and I will be reading from Psalm mm-hmm. 144. Um, I'll be reading the ESV version. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for war and my fingers for battle. He is my steadfast love and my fortress, my stronghold and my deliverer, my shield and he in whom I take refuge, who subdues peoples under me. O Lord, what is man that you regard him, or the son of man that you think of him? Man is like a breath, his days are like a passing shadow. Bow, you heavens, O Lord, and come down. Touch the mountains so that they smoke. Flash forth the lightning and scatter them. Send out your arrows and rout them. Stretch out your hand from on high. Rescue me and deliver me from the many waters, from the hand of foreigners, whose mouths speak lies and whose right hand is a right hand of falsehood. I will sing a new song to you, O God. Upon a ten-string harp I will play to you who gives victory to kings, who rescues David his servant from cruel sword. Rescue me and deliver me from the hand of foreigners, whose mouths speak lies and whose right hand is a right hand of falsehood. May your sons in their youth be like plants full grown, our daughters like corner pillars, cut for the structure of a palace. May our granaries be full, providing all kinds of produce. May our sheep bring forth thousands and ten thousands in our fields. May our cattle be heavy and with young, suffering no mishap or failure in bearing. May there be no cry of distress in our streets. Blessed are the people to whom such blessings fall. Blessed are the people whose God is the Lord. Okay, so this psalm is David's prayer for giving him victory over his enemies as a king. And at first, when we read it, we might wonder, what does this have to do with us? And this is not the only psalm with this theme. Over and over again, psalmists plea for deliverance from their enemies and praise God when they are rescued or victorious. And even though warfare is still very much present and real, when I say real, I mean real life real, not like in strategy games or shows based on them. So most of us probably don't have first-hand experience with warfare. However, in Ephesians, Paul exhorts the church to put on the whole armor of God that we may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over the present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Now, let me highlight a couple things from verses 1 and 2 of how David relied on God for his victory and deliverance. When we speak of God as being rock, we often think of strength and foundation. But here in verse 1b, David mentioned skills and gave credit to God for training his hands and fingers. And in verse 2, I was looking up the steadfast love term and um, I looked at a few different versions and it's translated into, um, in other versions, faithful love, loving kindness, mercy, goodness, and in some cases, loving ally or friend. And I like the translations that directly references the attribute of God, like love, mercy, kindness, goodness, because it embodies who God is and reminds me of how good and loving and merciful he has been to me time and time again. And also in verse 2, we see the terms fortress and stronghold, which of course occurs over and over again in Psalms. And they often remind us of protection and security. But here I also want to highlight provision. These safety places only work if they are stored with supplies and food for those hiding in them and ready to fight. God's provision and deliverance is comprehensive. It includes aspects that we are aware and many times those we have not yet thought of. 
So in this difficult time, I want to call out two things that I'm reminded of when reading this song. First, to be reminded of the spiritual warfare and to be vigilant, not just in being diligent ourselves, but in our reliance and total dependence on God. And second, to learn from David's example, to constantly remind ourselves to give thanks, praise, and do glory to God. Remembering how He continuously trains us, makes us victorious, loves us, protects us, and provides for us in all the ways imaginable and unimaginable. Dear God, I pray that you will be with each and every one of us and help us to rely on you and help us to give you all the glory and praise. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you.